Assalamualaikum So this is a lecture for MIT 5 to 9 uh, This lecture will cover lecture topic 9 uh, 10 and 11 So first uh, we look on the laboratory economics The role of laboratory manager uh, in First to carefully prepare and closely monitor the budget uh, that uh, used or needed by the lab Second, uh, design until the lab able to provide services at the lowest possible cost while strive to maintain uh, quality of the uh, results And third, the manager should be aware of the cost of health services and know how to allocate available resources So all the, these three uh, factors will help the senior management to guide the organization, evaluate uh, performance and identify areas for improvement. First topic, we look on the laboratory budget. Laboratory services, um, 60 to 70% of diagnosis are based on the results of lab uh, tests. So that mean laboratory service is very important in healthcare. Previously, uh, lab service are uh, seen as a cost center, uh, which mean uh, laboratory does not uh, produce very little profit. So the financial models uh, used uh, previously was a uh, cost per test as a benchmark, and the lab manager uh, need to provide service at lowest possible cost but now uh, the impact of lab services are well understood it is now known that uh, lab services reduce the use of more costly resources in the healthcare so a, a new financial models uh, is used which are cost per outpatient visit cost per admission and cost per inpatient day as benchmark Increasingly seen as a source of income uh, by uh, looking on the outpatient laboratory services and also uh, in some labs, uh, the outreach programs. Outreach program means um, where the lab uh, offers services to analyze uh, samples from other uh, clinics or smaller uh, healthcare center. Let's look at the definition of budget. Budget is the money that is available to a person or an organization and a plan on how it will be spent over a period of time. Among the functions of budget, first, business strategy. Budget will reflect the business strategy of the organization and contains the justification for the allocation of all resources such as operating, capital, budget, human resources, infrastructure and also physical space second information the expense uh, budget contains the information needed to establish uh, charges and also project net uh, profit or revenue and also uh, info uh, that can be used for adjustment the manager can perform an analysis of important variances to the budget to make any necessary adjustment or make recommendation for changes to operations so that the performance of the organization will meet the expectation of senior management in uh, another word for our type of services we need to produce uh, lab results in the highest quality possible there are two types of budget first is operating and second is capital so let's have a look on the operating budget the definition for, for operating budget is the ongoing income and expenses associated with operations this done annually example uh, first income example of income in, included the inpatient outpatient outreach and also for some institution uh, research services Second, direct expenses includes personnel, the uh, staff for the lab, reagent, consumables, maintenance, 
equipment, uh, leases, ICT, and also safety. And also indirect expenses or other word overhead. This include uh, the money spent for rent, paying utilities, paying the manager salary, and also for QC and QA. Second type is capital. Capital is the significant one-time expenditures such as major equipment or construction. Also done annually. This uh, is a type of purchase uh, asset that has expected useful life that, that means they can be used for more than one year example if you want to purchase an equipment they need to be able to be used for more than a year second revenue or profit and cost accounting for clinical laboratories The background for laboratory cost, cost of diagnostic tests probably account for more than 10% of all healthcare costs and they can be uh, categorized into fixed and also variable costs. First we look at the fixed cost. Fixed costs do not change over time or as the test volume increases or decreases. They mean uh, regardless whether the lab receive uh, lower or increased number of samples this uh, cost will be the same example equipment cost capital lease or rental and maintenance license fees supervisor salary also qc and proficiency uh, testing services second is the variable cost variable cost change as the volume changes can be mixed or semi-variable examples phlebotomy supplies test supplies reagents and total technical salary so we can expect these uh, supplies to be increased if the volume of sample received increased and vice versa so let's have a look on the uh, cost components by units in the Department of Diagnostic Laboratory Services uh, in one of the lab in Malaysia. So the percentage of component cost. As for chemical pathology, they spend uh, most of their uh, budget on human resources together with cytogenetic, cytopathology and a few other labs so they mean most of uh, the labs uh, spend most of their budget on human resources as there are also a few labs say for example hematology tissue culture molecular biology and also specialized hemostasis they spend a lot on reagents so this is good example uh, as a reference on uh, the percentage of uh, budget or cost for each labs third the operating budget management the operating budget process is done a fiscal year or financial year often begins six months before the start of the financial year Early start to allow organizations budget manager to aggregate the individual budgets, adjust projections, determine the overall viability of the proposed budget, and obtain final approval from leadership and trustees. So all the pro this process uh, consume time, so that's why they are advisable to be started earlier, as as early as six months before. As for managers, they can anticipate this process. So, managers should gather the necessary information in advance of the actual preparation schedule in presenting the operating budget. Budgets should be based on revenue and expense projections, both of which are determined by the volume of activity anticipated for the upcoming budget year. So, 
in our case uh, medical lab volume represent the test levels or number of tests uh, received separated into patient categories whether the tests uh, coming or the samples coming from inpatient outpatient uh, outsources uh, outreach and uh, research the operating budget process second uh, first we look on the salary in most lab 60 to 70 percent of the total expense budget is spent on salary so this is a, a, a huge number the salary section includes uh, budget for overtime differentials uh, means allowance for uh, different shift and also temporary staffing is needed uh, for part-timers in most organization this operating budget process is performed by the human resource department the manager is responsible for verifying the budgeted hours for each technical staff position is in their control the budget process often includes the opportunity to build a justification for additional staffing needs based on the volume projection and other anticipated changes second is the supply divided into three sections first reagent and disposal disposable should include patient volumes reagents for quality control repeat or dilutions and proficiency testing second is long-term financial commitment such as uh, leases maintenance contracts reagents rental agreement and third other expenses including telephone utility charges, general laboratory supplies, and office supplies. Okay, since uh, as we already aware, even for our own personal budget, budget model based on many assumptions. So lab managers need to perform budget variance analysis. That means they need to compare the budget for last year and the spending for this year so they, uh, we can have a proper amount for the next uh, year compare the operations actual performance in terms of both volume and expenses to the budget on an ongoing basis the laboratory manager should complete an analysis of any significant variances they mean uh, differences from the budget they mean compare from previous budget with the ongoing budget that is being spent now so the information obtained by doing this analysis for next year we can adjust the operation or even adjust the staffing beside operation we also have a capital budget request that can be performed by the lab manager so this is only perform is if it is necessary to buy an asset if the lab needs, for example, new equipment, replacement equipment, or construction, new or renovation, for example, uh, new equipment, if uh, the sample volume keep on increasing, of course, uh, need a new equipment to cope with the rising number of samples, to replace equipment that is uh, already broken down, uh, old fridge, uh, old freezer, uh, water bath and also construction to maintain uh, or to repair any uh, uh, problems with the uh, surrounding or uh, the building or the lab space represent significant investment for the organization senior management views this request as a series of potential investment and will prioritize requests from each operation based on the answers to several questions so these are the questions example uh, of questions that will be asked before you can uh, request before the lab manager can request for capital budget what is the opportunity cost what other benefits are sacrificed is the capital is given to this project will the organization receive any return from this investment or will the organization avoid any larger expenses from the investment for example hidden costs 
such as uh, safety, legal, compliance or by purchasing this asset can reduce cost for example length of stay, LIS support or equipment repair capital budget request uh, justification on why do we need this new instrument this uh, among the justification that can be uh, used by the lab manager in order to uh, request for a capital budget first if there is a need for necessary to meet governmental requirements uh, and also improve quality if it is necessary for patient or employee safety which does uh, improve patient or employee satisfaction or replace item in order to continue operation enhance productivity and or reduce cost so here are the required reading for this lecture Assalamualaikum